We're so proud to be a partner of Lincoln University and of course this is not just about Siemens, this is about young people in Lincoln who are looking for a potential area where they might want jobs in the future and uh, well what a great facility to have on your doorstep. We can just down the road come and we can do real high quality research and development, brand new technology that will find its way into our products that makes them more competitive and that we can ship around the world and of course with that we help create more jobs here. Are you continuing and growing on the, the uh, employment and apprenticeship schemes here in Lincolnshire? Yeah absolutely I mean I, I always think of Lincoln as really one of our best-in-class areas of recruiting skills locally and what we tend to find when we do that successfully both on the graduate side and on the apprenticeship side you find a lot of loyalty. In the current economic um, uh, landscape, pre-Brexit landscape, should I say, is Britain um, and specifically Lincolnshire still a good place to do business and invest in? Yes, you know, I mean, it's a long time until we really work out what Brexit really means uh, for uh, Great Britain and I think the attitude that certainly we are taking, but I think most businesses is, look, it's just business as usual. Um, you know, there's obviously going to be negotiations around the corner, uh, but, you know, we're carrying on here, we're investing here in research, in skills, and uh, we, uh, we intend to have a good future. Well, this is the growth of our partnership with Siemens, and indeed with engineering companies across the region. Uh, we've recently introduced electrical engineering alongside mechanical, and that gives us a whole new take on the kinds of businesses that we can work with and the kinds of graduates that we can produce. We started in 2011 when the, the original building was opened with about 10 students. This year we'll probably welcome just under 100 engineering students to the university. So that's really exciting to see. So yes, we had to expand. Becoming a, a Siemens uh, global principal partner one of only 16 in the world, was um, one of the most uh, enormously wonderful days for us. It happened last year and I was just so proud. Immediately after the, the vote, I think people were concerned and there were some challenges around um, the research programme called Horizon 2020. Um, not that we weren't entitled to still be partners in that, but some European universities said we, they, they didn't want UK um, universities involved because of the uncertainty. But our government has guaranteed that they will fund up until the end of that programme, so that's really good news and we're really grateful to them for, for doing that. Um, my, my view on all of this now is we've, we've just got to get on with it and we've got to look for opportunities.